everybody welcome to fun food Friday now on this fun food Friday we're going to be making like uh we're going to use the air fryer again and I don't know if you could do it in the oven maybe you could uh you know you could try it if you're interested if you don't have an air fryer uh but this is going to be Easter treats yeah or just sweet treats anytime right and it's going to be super easy I hope I never made it before and we're going to try it together so what I have here is parchment paper cut out you know in like squares here to put on top of my air fryer now I'm going to take this and well I'll show you in a minute but to put my air fryer, to put this rack into the air fryer, I have a thing here where I have to push it down. So I'm not going to be covering that part. Okay. So I think I can leave, I think I'm safe to leave that out. All right. Now, over here, well, the first thing that you're going to want is these crescent rolls, the Pillsbury, where you get the eight rolls. You can use any kind of crescent rolls you want. It doesn't have to be the Pillsbury. I have an egg wash here, and then I have different topping, uh, different fillings that are going to go inside these. Here I have a s'mores mix. I have graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallow. Here I have like a coconut bar, and this is coconut and chocolate. We have there. Uh, I froze some peanut butter and jelly. I want to try a peanut butter and jelly one. And I froze it because uh, I figured if I put it in without it being, well, it's not really frozen, frozen, but I was afraid it might get too mushy inside. So we're going to try it. Then look what I got, guys. I got a caramel Cadbury egg. You can use any fillings you want. This is just some that I'm going to be trying. And I got this Cadbury here we go. Cadbury cream egg. I got these Godiva chocolate domes. These came from the Dollar Tree. So this is the uh, milk chocolate and crispy hazelnut. And I got a Reese's peanut butter cup. I also have some chocolate and cinnamon here in case I need more. We'll figure out other fillings. Okay, so let's open up this. And this is, the, I'm only making eight. If you wanted to make more, you could, you know, just have more fillings or you can use the same filling. If there's one filling that you like better than the other, you can use that. Okay, so I got this open. Let me get, um, hold on. Let me get my little cotton board thing here. Again, Dollar Tree. All right, so here's number one. This is going to be so much fun. And you want your air fryer at um, 350. I'm going to check it after four minutes to see if the one side is brown. And then we're going to turn it. I'll show you when we get there. But let's open these uh, crescent rolls up. Like so. Yeah, let me leave that pot rolled up. We'll do one at a time. And the kids would love doing this, guys. Have the kids help you. They can make up their own kind of filling and everything. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay. So I'm going to stretch. Whoa, well, not so much stretching that out. All right. So I'm going to take the peanut butter cup. And we're going to put this in first. So I'm going to put it right on top. Can you see that right here? And we're going to fold the dough over the peanut butter cup. And try and make it like, make sure the peanut butter cup's all enclosed with your, um, with your dough. So there's number one. It's 
like in a little ball. Put your peanut butter cups in there. I imagine um, you could cut this up and just put pieces of peanut butter cup. I put the whole peanut butter cup. Let's see how that works. We'll find out. And then I'm taking a piece of parchment paper, putting it down on my rack here, and I'm putting the dough on top. All right. Let's do this one next, the peanut butter and jelly one. So let's get some jelly in there. And then the peanut butter. Come on, get in there. There we go. Got all this extra too if you wanted to do um, more of the peanut butter and jelly. So let's get this one all wrapped up in this dough. And again, I'm trying to make it like in a, a ball. So, whoop, jelly, jelly popping out. No popping out jelly. Hold on. Let me get this, wrap it over. There we go. And then just close up your ends, you know, to make sure that it's, your filling is completely enclosed. I'm even rolling this one a little bit. There we go. That's the peanut butter and jelly. Another piece of parchment paper. And let's put that on there. I think I'm going to do four at a time. Just for the fact that they are going to puff up and I don't want them sticking to one another and then this way too we know what we got we got peanut butter cup peanut butter and jelly let's use a cadbury egg we're going to use the cream egg the regular cadbury cream egg and then i think we're going to do the coconut bar one next so Okay, so here's the Cadbury cream egg. Let's get it in there. Roll up the dough all around it. Because you want it completely covered with dough. Let me roll that up. There's the Cadbury one. I'm pinching up the edges here a little bit. So the Cadbury, another piece of parchment, and we'll put the Cadbury one there, and let's do a coconut one, like a, like a coconut bar with chocolate on it. All right, so I got chocolate here and coconut. This is sweet and coconut. So let's get this filled with coconut and chocolate. And again, bring up the, the sides and roll it up and make sure that it's all pinched together so your fillings don't pop out. Hopefully they won't. I don't know. Like I said, I never made these before. We're trying it together. Okay, so like I said, I'm only going to make four. And there's that one. Okay, now what you want to do here is brush it with a, you know, egg wash. So, I'm just uh, using my fork to brush the top. Okay, so we got the Reese's, we got the peanut butter and jelly, the Cadbury egg, no, Cadbury egg, and the coconut and chocolate. All right, so now I'm gonna put it on air fry, and I'm gonna put the temperature to 350, and the time I'm gonna do uh, four minutes, and we're gonna check it after four minutes, and see if it's getting brown. So, here we go. I got my little handle. Okay, so 
they're in there. See? Okay, let's get it in here. And we're going to press stop. So, four minutes, guys. In the meantime, we'll make some more. Okay. So, let me get this coconut off here. And open up these. The kids would love doing this, guys. Yes, your grandchildren, your children. Can you imagine the insides that they can make, you know, come up with to put on the inside of these? The fillings, I should say, the insides. The fillings. I bet they can come up with some unusual stuff. And if you find one filling that you like over the other, just make them all in, you know, all one filling. You don't have to try all these different ones, but I'm trying all different ones to give you ideas on what, what you can fill it with. So let's use one of these Godiva chocolates. The chocolate domes. We're going to use one of these. Now this is filled with crispy hazelnut. That's what it looks like. And like I said, you get these from the Dollar Tree. So let's get that in there. Fold it up. Pinch it in. Roll, roll, roll. And there we go. That's the Godiva chocolate. Try and roll it a little bit. Okay, now we're going to do the s'mores one. Now this is, like I said, crushed graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallow. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, well, let me do it like this so I can get some of the, whoop, too many marshmallows. I want to get more graham, graham cracker crust in here. Oh, this one smells so good already. All right, let's wind her up here. Hold her up. Make sure it's all pinched in there so nothing falls out. Pinch these sides up. Give it a roll. Oh, one of the chocolates is trying to peek out over here. There. So there's that one. We got two more. So now we're going to use this Cadbury caramel egg. We're going to use this one. You could just do chocolate ones, cinnamon and sugar ones. You know, if you wanted to do that. But I think it's fun to put these uh, chocolates in there. We're gonna cut one open and see how nice it looks after it cools down, because we don't want a mushy mess. So I got one more to make. Now, let's see, what can I make with this one? I have some chocolate, just chocolate. So let's put some chocolate in here. Oh, I know what. So we'll put the chocolate and peanut butter. So we'll do, oh no, that's a Reese's, isn't it? Yeah, no, we won't do that. All right, let me check. Four minutes went by. Let me pause it. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. They are beautiful. Wait till you see. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, I want to turn it. Hold on. Let me get my tongs. Oh, these are so pretty. Wait a minute. Let me use my tongs. I got to see if the other side is brown. I got to be gentle with it, though, because remember, we got melted chocolate and peanut butter and all that. So let me get one out right here. Look, let me show you before I turn. 
Look at that. How flipping pretty is that? Wow, 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 wow. All right, so you do have to flip it. Um, I think I'm gonna spray the parchment paper because the dough did stick a little to it. So let me put that one back in there. Get this one. See the parchment paper, I mean the dough sticking to the bottom of the parchment. So we're gonna spray the second round. But still, they came out, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So then I'm going to do four minutes on the other side. Oh, don't break open on me. Don't break open. Come on. Flip it over. And then the last one. See, so you learn with me. Spray your parchment. Oh, this is a peanut butter and jelly. All right, let's put it back in. That one side came out so beautiful. All right, time. We're going to do four more minutes. There we go. And start it. Let that go four minutes. I'm going to get... Yeah, this is my spice. Look at that, guys. <laughs> my little spice um, shelf. All right. So we're definitely going to spray the parchment because the dough is sticking. So we'll do that. And this one. Okay. So spray. And here's the last one. Okay, so I have chocolate in here. Let's do chocolate and cinnamon. Cinnamon chocolate. So I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon in here. Did you see how pretty that came out? Oh my gosh. So don't forget, spray your parchment because that one side's not going to look so pretty. But these are going to come out perfect. Let me like close it all up. So we got a chocolate and cinnamon. I'm going to cut them all open in half for you. We're not going to try them all. We're going to try one of them. But we're not going to try them all. All right, so this got to go on the, the greased parchment. Let me make sure they're all... There. And then again, egg wash. This egg wash worked nice. So we got that done. Our next four. So cool. All right, I'm gonna put these in here so as not to waste. Oh, actually, I'll put them in with the coconut. So let me know in the comments what you think of this, huh? Well, we'll see. We'll see when we get it out. And then you can let me know. We'll see when we get it out, put it, you know, let it cool, put it on this plate here. We'll cut each one open in half and we'll try one to see what, we, what kind of flavor we're getting. So put that in there. I don't think I need this anymore. Although you can make scrambled eggs with that. The prices of things today, yeah. 
make scrambled eggs with it. Yeah. Here's my peanut butter and jelly. You can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of that. Let me throw this. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is exciting. We're down to eight seconds. We'll get them out. I'll put them on the plate. Pause. And oh yeah, you don't need four minutes on the other side. Four minutes is too much. I'll say maybe check it after two. Yeah, because four minutes on the other side was too much, guys. See it? But we'll put it on the pretty side. Yeah, so do four minutes and two minutes. Check it after two. Because see, here's that second side. It's kind of brown. Where the front side is perfect. Oh, my peanut butter and jelly leaked out. That's okay, though. Let's get it on the plate. Let it cool. Right there. Okay. Now, we're ready to put these in. Get some of that. Be careful putting your second batch in top. So I'll do four minutes and two. All right. Let's get these in. Our last four. And temp 350. And time. We want four minutes. And we're going to stop. Okay, so four minutes. And then we're going to let these cool. And then we're going to cut them. But look how pretty, right? Oh my gosh. The other side did get a little done, but ouch, hot peanut butter. But look at overall. See that, that side was another like four minutes, but you don't need four minutes. All right, so once those cool, we'll cut them. I want them to set back up. That's what I want with that. Okay. Put this back up here. Oh, exciting! <laughs> These could be surprise, surprise Easter balls. We can call them, right? For the kids, you say, "Here, yeah, have a little Easter ball." And um, they'll bite into it, and they'll be surprised because you don't know what filling they're going to get, right? I wonder if you can, like, sprinkle the tops of these with powdered sugar, too, or if it would be sweet enough. We'll find out. When I cut one open, we'll find out if it's sweet enough or to make them even look prettier, you know, dust them with powdered sugar. Yeah, so... We'll see about that, right? Okay. We've got two minutes, and this batch will be ready to be turned over for two minutes. Yeah. You don't need four. So, can admire these while we're waiting, right? Once they're completely cool, they're still warm. Oh, look, the jelly. See, jelly popped out of that. So I didn't close. We know which one that is. Let's see. Let them solidify a little bit on the inside. And yes, we'll try. We shall try. Okay, so we're down to a minute. Be 
exciting. And it smells good, bacon. Oh, it, it does. It smells like pastry cooking. So, don't you think kids would like this? I do. But it's all in the taste, right? That's what I always say. No matter how pretty it looks, it's no good if it doesn't taste good. Okay. So we're down to our last 30 seconds. Tell me if you try this what kind of fillings you think that you might put in yours? What suggestions do you have for it? All right, let me pause it. Oh, it, I'm telling you guys, the first round, the first side is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So let me see, here's one. Now I did spray the parchment. And turn it over. I think I'm only going to put it in. Oh, I dropped that one. Oh, are you kidding me? That was beautiful. Oh, well. We're going to see what one that was that I dropped. <laughs> I can't. I can't with myself. Oh. In the kitchen with Donna. All right. So... See, it got slippery from the, um, <laughs> from the sprayed parchment. Let me flip that over. Yeah, I'm only going to put it in one minute. You notice I'm not taking it out of here again? Because I would have dropped it again. All right, let's put these in one minute. So, again, let's set it and the time. I hate that you have to keep hitting these buttons to get down to your time. Yeah, one minute. All right. I'm going to cut this now, even though it's hot. Let's see which one this was that I dropped. I think this was the s'mores, maybe. No, or that's what it looks like. But I won't use that. Let me get another knife. There we go. I tell you guys, I can make it, you can make it. So we're going to end it. I'm shutting it off. Yeah, I think, let's see. No, two minutes on that side. So let's go one more minute. I'm not a cook, guys. You all know this. That's why I say, if I can make it, you can make it. All right, and I think we're just about ready to cut this, cut these in half. Let me get the other ones out, and then we'll cut these. This is the peanut butter and jelly, see it? Came out of that hole on the bottom. 
Let me push it. So. Alrighty. Yeah, I think this was the smallest one. Yeah. Smells like it. I bet that would have been a good one, too. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we're down the last minutes, guys. Then we're going to cut them and see if it was worth doing. Okay. So off it goes. Yes, two minutes. So do four minutes and two minutes. So here's that one. Look how pretty. See, here's the other side. So two minutes is perfect. And then this one. So. All right. Let me get these papers out of here. I'm gonna have to give that a good clean. All right. So let's cut and we're gonna try. So we'll do this one first. I'm going to cut it. Straight down the center. Now this was the coconut and chocolate. On that. That's what that looks like. That's the coconut and chocolate. This one. is Ooh! Oh my gosh. This was a Cadbury egg. Look at that. Yum. Try this one. Of course, you're not going to cut them open. You know, like I am. I'm doing that to show you. This one was the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. That was the Peanut Butter Cup. So Peanut Butter Cup, Cadbury Egg, Coconut and Chocolate. What? These three are the hot ones. So let's do this one. This was the uh, peanut butter and jelly. This one, because it leaked out. Yeah, so there's the peanut butter and jelly, but the jelly kind of leaked out at the bottom, as you can see. So, you know what one I want to try, right? I want to try the Cadbury egg. Because if you could do them all with Cadbury eggs, and look, it look when you break it open, it's got the yellow, like the egg. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. I think that's really cool. All right, let's try it. It's all in the taste, right? Mmm, so warm in the middle, but let them get cold. Let them get cold, they'll harden up. Mmm. Oh, this one's good. Mmm. I like that. Wow. Very good. Mmm. Cadbury eggs. Yeah. Wow, is that good. You know what one I want to try? That's a peanut butter and jelly. That's the peanut butter cup. I'm gonna try this some. Um, now see how it's starting? The chocolate, let me try again this one. The chocolate's starting to solidify. Yeah, I would go for that. The solidified. All right. This is gonna be like a coconut. Like a coconut bar. Hmm. That's all right. Mm. 
Mm. The more you chew it, the more coconut. Mm. So that's good. Oh. But my favorite is the Cadbury egg. Wow, look at that, guys. Mmm. Oh. Don't need powdered sugar. Try it with the Cadbury eggs. Oh, wow. Very good. All right, let's cut this one. Let's see what... Now this one was chocolate and cinnamon, I believe. I'm gonna try this, cut this one. Oh, this is the caramel one. Look, the caramel is oozing out. This is the caramel Cadbury egg one. <gasps> yes, do the eggs, do the eggs. That's more fun. It oozes out like, oh, perfect. And then what was the last one that I did? I forgot. Oh, chocolate and something. No, this is the chocolate and cinnamon. This was chocolate. No, this was the um, hazelnut, the Godiva. Yeah, that's the Godiva one. But my recommendation, guys, is go with the Cadbury eggs. Oh, they are perfect. And the, oh, it's so good with the cream that the Cadbury egg gives you. <gasps> perfect. Oh my gosh. Yes. See the Cadbury egg one? Oh, all right, guys. That's it for Fun Food Friday for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you try these. I recommend the Cadbury eggs, period, because to me, that tasted the best. And um, yeah, let me know if you're going to try it, what you're going to put in it. And let me know what you think of this Fun Food Friday. Give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And thank you again, everyone. Stay safe out there. And until next time, bye now.